in case there was an asteroid coming towards Earth and you're there, you can actually stop it. I mean, that's kind of fantastic. I'm Lena Adams and I led the team that built the spacecraft to go and crash into an asteroid. Behind me, you see the spacecraft. Once the solar arrays are deployed, it's going to be the size of a school bus. As the solar array opens out, it's going to swing out in this direction. DART is the mission to go and hit an asteroid and see if we can change its trajectory just a little bit. But in space, just a little bit is just enough to make an asteroid actually miss us if an asteroid was actually coming towards us. To me, the most important thing and the most exciting thing is all the technical challenges. My job was primarily to make sure all the systems on the spacecraft work together. On top, you see the next sea thruster. Over here is our star tracker. And then over here is our high gain antenna. My job is to make sure we hit. My job is to make sure we launch. My job is to make sure we're able to receive data back. There's Draco on the bottom of the spacecraft. As well, of course, is integration and test. As a mother of three boys now, we spend lots of Saturdays watching the spacecraft actually being integrated. They watch solar arrays deploy for the first time, just because we were all on Zoom at all hours of the day and night. I do Taekwondo. I'm working on my black belt, and hopefully I will get it right around the same time as the uh, launch of DART. So it's also been a very long journey for me. Taekwondo kind of teaches you a lot of respect and a lot of patience for things you just need to keep doing it and make it better and better. And it's the same with space missions. Go DART! Woo! The dinosaurs are uh, made completely extinct by an asteroid impact so many years ago. Here we are, we can actually do something about it. I think this is just wonderful.